السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Today we are standing in this camp, refugees camp. Astonishingly, I was surprised to find that the name of the camp is Yemeni refugees camp, which is very surprising that the people of Yemen, especially from Hadramaut, travel all this distance. Took the this risk to come here, actually to Maghdishu to live a better life than what they have seen in Hadramaut or in Aden or in Sanaa or in Taiz or 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 or. Today supposed to be the day of the the International Day of Refugees. Don't ever call me refugees anymore. I'm not a refugee. I'm a global citizen. I am a global citizen. I'm a world citizen. I have the right. To live in dignity, to be respected, and I have the right to have my education, to preserve my culture, to preserve my my language, to preserve my value, and to preserve my religion. I have the right to work. Don't keep calling me a refugee. Call me a returnee. Call me a citizen of the world. Give me a status to enable me to be respected globally. Not to let people to feel pity for me. Wrong. The policy that you are following is wrong. It's not working. For the last seventy years, the Palestinians are refugees up till now, in camps in Jordan, in camps in Lebanon, and they don't have the rights. For the last forty years or more, Eritreans are refugees in Sudan, in east of Sudan. Now what we see are refugees coming from Rohingya in Bangladesh every few or ten years. From Syrian refugees in all the places, about seven or six million refugees outside, and six or seven million displaced inside Syria. South Sudan, going to Uganda and other places. Even from Darfur, there are still refugees in the Darfur and refugees in Chad, Cameroonian refugees in Chad, Nigerian refugees in Chad, and Central African Republic refugees in Chad. Very poor country. But it has about more than three to four hundred thousand refugees. Those who go even from China and others don't ever call us refugees anymore. Stop, stop, stop calling us refugees. We are the citizens. Give us, give us our dignity and our right and our respect to live as a as a dignified human being. As Allah Subhanahu wa Taala gave us this status. Who made me refugees? It's you. Who came to destroy my country? It's you who created this conflict in my country. It's you who spoiled the climate in my country. It's you or others who really are trying to steal the resources of our country. This is very serious. I have to stand up firm and fight hard for the rights of those children, which you can see them here, and those women, which you can see them here. And this is you can see the condition of the woman here behind me. And this is not. A humane condition, and you come and say today is an international day of refugees. What have we been doing? And the number of refugees is on the rise. Now it's nearly 70 million refugees. Every year it's rising. We bring them, make them refugees to feed them. We don't want your food. We want our dignity. We can be respected, global citizen of the world. This is what we need to have. Actually, whether we are in Magdishu, whether we are in Chad, whether we are in any part of the world, whether we are Muslim or Christian or other any part of the world, stop calling me refugees and remove it from the world dictionary and make me returnee, make me a citizen of the world. May Allah bless you, Chad. That's Subhanahu wa Taala, and I hope that we can stand together to sort out the problem of the refugees in different parts of the world. Jazakum Allah khair. From Maghdishu, from the refugees camp, Yemeni refugees camp. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.